Tis an ill wind that blows no minds. I am really excited to make this video for you today, guys. Well, more than usual, I would say, because, uh, huh, well, guess what? I have finally found religion. Okay, not really. When I was a kid, my grandmother wanted me to be Catholic. So every time she took me to church, it was backed up by McDonald's for dinner. This scheme came to an end at about the time I was eight years old. A few years after that, I decided I couldn't confirm the existence of God. So I wasn't going to comport myself in such a fashion as so many others in history. Doing things that were typically wrong because they believed it was God's will. I mean, after all, you might be able to say that religion is the number one cause of death in all of humans. Every concrete intellectual advancement is stimmied or chastised by some religious institutions. So I don't want to talk about organized religion. If you want to know my feelings about that, you could look up my book, God and Everything. Instead, I want to talk about disorganized religion and why it is so very appealing. In a sense, some philosophical schools can collectively be considered a religion because of all their differing beliefs. I feel like humanism, stoicism, platonism, stuff like that, they're all examples of disorganized religions because there are differing views of what the schools think and feel and there's some dogma attached to them. Yet it's funny because there's rarely any violence or severe conflict occurring between them. But the ultimate example of a disorganized religion is Discordianism. Discordianism is a seriously hilarious belief system. Everything in the universe relates to the number five, one way or another, given enough ingenuity on the part of the interpreter. Instead of setting up a competent, omnipotent being as its figurehead, it takes Eris, goddess of chaos. After all, look around the universe, what do you see? Chaos is the most prevalent thing there is. Entropy. We humans have emerged out of this chaos in a series of flux events, an aberration in a system of isolated chaos. As Camus said, the world is absurd. As humans attempt to be rational, there's a constant disconnect to the world around us. Common sense tells you that the earth is flat. Between our view of the world and the world itself, it seems to defy all logical analysis. So Discordians believe in chaos, the most prevalent force in the universe. And even if you don't believe in Eris, her manifestation as the second law of thermodynamics is more proof than you'll ever get from any organized religion. Then you have aneuristic forces, the illusion of organization and bureaucracy we as humans try to institute to no avail. A Discordian shall partake in no hot dog buns. Discordianism is a bit of a joke. A Discordian shall never do what he is told. A reaction to a supposed harmonious design by a god. But it really does make a lot of sense to me. It mocks organized religion and sort of sets them up as what is evil. Most people take their beliefs a little too seriously. Like they're facts or something. When in truth, facts might be beyond the range of our abilities. Everything is true in some sense. False in some sense. True and false in some sense. Meaningful in some sense meaningless in some sense, and meaningful and meaningless in some sense. The source material for Discordianism can be found in Principia Discordia, and a good secondary source is the Illuminatus Trilogy. Both are extremely enjoyable and enlightening reads. I hope you become a Discordian so I can excommunicate you and you could start your own new sect. Or perhaps you're already a Discordian? I may be crazy, but that doesn't mean I'm wrong. If so, leave a comment below. Or you can always leave something if you're non-Discordian. Who can tell the difference? Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more from me. And join my mailing list if you want a free book. And if you want to hear about when my next book will be coming out. This is Ryan Starblok, and you better have a good day. Hail Eris!